Let me ask you a question. How often do you get to go backpacking? Most people can only get out maybe one to two times a year, and for a lot of people, those one to two times are a major highlight. You probably spend a fair amount of time thinking about planning and preparing for those trips because you want those trips to be the best that they possibly can. And it's got me thinking about the videos we consume on social media, and I know you think you've heard me say this before, but I actually think my opinion on this is changing. You see, most of us, when given the opportunity to watch a gear review video or a video about an epic destination, most of us will pick the video about the gear. And it used to really bother me because I really enjoy making trip videos, but they just don't get the views that the gear review videos get. It used to bother me, but I think I'm beginning to understand it now. Look, a typical backpacking trip lasts maybe three to four days and then it's over, but the time that you spend looking forward to that trip can last for months. And what I'm realizing is that as you start thinking about your trip, when you start thinking about the conditions that you're going to experience, the obstacles that you're going to face, the main thing that is going to help you deal with those things, the main thing that is going to make your trip a pleasant experience is the gear that you're going to use. And while that might seem obvious, what isn't as obvious and what I didn't realize is that as you are researching the gear that is going to make your trip better, you are effectively extending your trip. Let me see if I can show you what I mean. Hey everyone, so I've got a trip planned to North Lake Tahoe next week and I'm expecting it to be pretty cold and possibly even have some snow on the ground. Now, one of the things that I've never really bought, but I probably really need to have, is some good winter boots. I've just never really bought them. Anytime I go out in the snow, my toes get really cold, and I know that I would enjoy myself a whole lot more if I just had some insulated boots. The problem is, is I don't really know what to buy. And so I've been doing a little bit of research, I've been watching some videos, and I thought, you know, since Moose Jaw is sponsoring this video, why don't I schedule a call with one of their gear wizards to see if they have any recommendations? Plus, I'm kind of curious to see whether or not they're gonna recognize me which I'm not too hopeful about, but I'm curious what you think. Drop me a comment right now that either says yes or no. They will recognize me or no, you don't think they will. Okay, so the gear wizard had no idea who I was, but that's okay. He did know a lot about insulated boots. He showed me some different boots, talked to me about the pros and cons of each of them, and even answered my questions. All in all, a really great resource. If you're interested, you can sign up for a free video call with a Moose Jaw Gear Wizard through the link in the description. And use the code MLOMJ for 10% off anything you buy at Moose Jaw, 5% off of things already on sale. Some exclusions do apply. So after a little bit of research, I ended up with the Oboe's Bridger insulated boots. Now, the kind of boots I got is really neither here nor there. The point is, while I was digging into the reviews and the comparisons, while I was watching videos and trying to decide what I actually wanted to buy, all that time is now a part of this trip. And not just this trip, but future trips too. You see, before I started reviewing gear, I had a few pieces of gear that went on every single hike that I did. Gear that has been to Yosemite and Glacier, the Adirondacks, the Smoky Mountains, Colorado, New Mexico, and more. This gear had become sentimental to me. Now, I hardly use any of it anymore because I'm constantly trying out new gear for, well, all of you. But what I'm realizing is that gear is much more important than I thought. It's true that you can go hiking with very basic gear or you can go hiking with top of the line gear, but no matter what gear you choose, that gear not only keeps you safe and comfortable, but ultimately it becomes part of your hike. It becomes sort of your hiking companions. And it also means that if you are watching my videos to help you decide what gear you want to take on your next hike, then in a small way, I am also part of that hike and all the hikes that that gear goes on from now until eternity. And for that, I am incredibly grateful. Thanks for watching and coming along on this hike with me. It means more to me than you realize.